think I do a weird thing while I brush my teeth, and I would like to confirm that with members of this congregation, okay? I think I do a weird thing when I brush my teeth. This is that weird thing. I think I brush my teeth for way too long. And I'm like, I'm not, I, this is not it, okay? You're like, oh, you so, oh, and everyone had cheered and everyone applauded. No, dude, I'm not trying to say that I have really clean teeth. I think that my teeth, unfortunately, are still a little yellow, okay? I don't know why that is, but it is. I'll show you. Uh, they're not like pearly white, okay? And I don't know if it really shows on the on the camera. I don't want to show you my teeth either, okay? You never know what some sickos are going to do with that. <laughs> I think I brush my teeth for so long. Why? Because I get lost in my own thoughts. I'm kind of a bit of a hopeless romantic. I got my head in the clouds and a toothbrush in my mouth, okay? So I, while I brush my teeth, I get a little lost in the sauce. I forget where I am. And then I end up brushing my teeth for way too long. Such that, and this is the part where I'm gonna need other people to say I do the same thing just to make me feel better. You don't even, just lie to me. Lie to me like we're a Tim Roth show on TNT, okay? I just need you to lie to me. I froth up my mouth so much. Why, why do I froth my mouth? It's because the, the toothpaste, has been vibrated against for so long that it's just like foam in my mouth that I have toothpaste running down the corners of my mouth by when I finish brushing my teeth. There's too much foam in my mouth. I do the same thing you're using too much. Okay, but like, how do we know that though? How do we know that I'm using too much toothpaste? Because I think I'm using like, I'm using two peas, okay? You would have two chains. I'm using two peas on my toothbrush. Is that too much? That's why you brush your teeth in the shower? Whoa. That is kind of interesting. That's an interesting idea. I'm gonna have to try that out. I'm gonna have to try that out. But I don't want to stain anything in the shower, you know? You gotta be a little bit careful to not let that, that soapy, foamy stuff, you know, get anywhere except down the drain. One P should be enough. One P? But like, how is that gonna cover all your teeth? I got like a, I got like a wide prodigious mouth, okay? This is like the Grand Canyon in here. One P is all it takes, like a Dua Lipa song. Hang on, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we have five shapes in our hand. This is great. Can't really accept the Dora, but we got like a four, five, six Sanshoku in the making here. There's the Rechi. I don't love that. I don't love that. I'm going to be honest with you. Let's avoid dealing into Ripatsu. But looking at my tiles right now. I, oh, run them, run them, run them. Okay. Um, Looking at my tiles, I don't really think that we can play safe. So here we go, folks. We're going. We're zooming for it. The 1P is real. The 1P is real. The 1P. The 1P is real. Okay. I can, I can kind of F with that. I'll try to use less toothpaste. But I think like... I think this is an OCD thing. Like, and this is genuinely, you know, it's not embarrassing, embarrassing, but it's not not embarrassing either. Cause I'm like, if I don't spend five, this is genuinely like an OCD thing. If I don't spend like five seconds brushing every zone of my teeth, bottom, top, left, top, top, left, middle, top, left, bottom, top, left, middle, top, bottom, top. Like if I don't do that, then my teeth are gonna be sullied forever. And I think I got to accept, and I think I got to accept that some nights I stay up playing Richi Mahjong. Some nights I'm not going to brush my teeth perfectly. And that's okay. I think that's okay. What is it? What is it about this situation that makes me want to fold? I have no idea, but I'm going to go a little Suji gaming for a crossword. We have three tiles in our hand that look relatively safe. That's why I like the app now. It tells me exactly where I need to brush still. I mean, I do, this is this is the embarrassing thing. Fofotana raises an excellent point. Obviously I'm rocking with an electric toothbrush, right? You, I'm so 3008 while you're so 2000 late if you're not using an electronic toothbrush, right? Um, To quote the Black Eyed Peas, I am using an electric toothbrush that does stop after two minutes, 
but I haven't finished brushing my teeth in that allotted time. You know what I mean? Like, what if I need a little bit longer to finish doing my brushy brushy? That's kind of where I'm at right now. Three fives are on the board right now. Just took out Tomato Town. I am in Tempai if I throw this. I think I throw this, right? Best. Sometimes your best defense is a good offense. This is an awfully hot offense port. Where can I buy a mouth guard type device that will brush my teeth for me? I would like to live in a society where like maybe like sometimes in somehow in the future, mouthwashes get so advanced that we progress past the need for brushing teeth. Why? I don't like foaming at the mouth, dude. I don't like foaming at the mouth. What am I? Rabies mode? I, I, I also can't, I, I, you know, how are you guys, how are y'all brushing your teeth so fast? Are you backwards long jumping up your molars? Everyone's doing a Mario speed run in the bathroom. I'm taking care of each one of these pearly whites. No, I don't think I, I don't mean to teeth shame anyone either. Like, I don't think I'm doing it right. I genuinely don't think I'm doing it right. Full pure straight in the character suit is a possibility. I don't necessarily want to throw away this three, even though it is redundant, because one, two, three, we only have three shapes in our hand. That's terrible. But the good news about having whack shapes in our hand is that it very easily gets uh, upgraded. So we'd love to see a two of characters. We'd love to see a one of characters. Unfortunately, a, a crossroads, you know, looking to crush our dreams a little bit. Or smoke your vegetables, too. <laughs> I will say this. I don't I I don't want to smoke my vegetables like wrapping it up some broccoli in a joint and getting my nutrients that way. But and this is not a sponsored segment, but the green juice from Trader Joe's is genuinely like we are living in that future. You know what I mean? I'm going pure straight uh one Dora. This is this is the hand. This is I've I've found my hand and no one can take it from me. I know that we could keep the six of circles for some Kyle acceptancy. I don't want the Kyle acceptancy. I just want the I just want the pure straight and I want it meow. The green juice from Trader Joe's is genuinely like drinking your vegetables instead of eating your vegetables. Now do I know if the green juice from Trader Joe's has the same nutritional value as straight up Paula Abdul style eating your vegetables I don't know I think that and I don't know if, if this is wrong you got to tell me okay because this I'm living my life like this when you blend vegetables isn't that like don't some of the nutrients and now I'm now I'm about to, I'm afraid I'm gonna sound silly don't some of the nutrients leave the vegetable right I, like for example I have heard that steaming vegetables is a very healthy way to enjoy vegetables but i don't i don't know if that's true you know it's depending on how you cook it isn't that boiling it's true so you know the juice you're not gonna get as many this is my thinking you're not gonna get as many raw nutrients but it's more fun drinking the juice than it is eating the vegetables that's what i think Makes sense you lose out on the fiber. You know what? All that fiber is getting shredded, I guess. <laughs> English major tries to learn about science day one. Ah, broski. I mean, I think we just fold right now. I don't think this hand is going to do anything. Unfortunately, I think this hand had its chance, right? I think we had our chance, chance revolution. I mean, how many sevens are... Yeah, you know what? I don't want to deal into left lords. Dude, I think my spidey senses are getting slightly, slightly better. Pinfu waiting for the door. I can respect that. Oh, I can respect that greatly. Still anyone's game as we head into East 3. I, I am loving the position that we're in right now, folks. Reverse reverse cowboy on the on the mahjong table right now. This is a this is a wonderful situation. Hang on here. I was about to discard the nine because it's a little redundant, but I'm pawning this uh I'm pawning this white dragon. We just need a pair of something sometime, right? I would love to draw into a four of circles or six of circles. That's a, that's a nice way to get a pair in our hand. Please get off the table, you sung. Why? I, I thought this was America. It's illegal to reverse cowboy on the Mahjong table. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen the big game lately? We gotta we gotta talk about something else. Dresser. A pure straight again could work as well. You're absolutely not. Oh my goodness. 
Now, the door is all the way up in the stratosphere. I don't know if I love the idea. I'm gonna wait for the I'm gonna wait for the four of Bambi. Why? Because Left Lord, you know, Left Lord's already thrown one five. It's it's less likely that we draw another. I would love to, I would love to do a little pure straight. Oh wow. Hachi machi. Okay. Do I ever pawn here? Oh, do I ever pawn here? I mean, I want the white dragon value, right? I want that blue eyes white dragon in my hand. Holy guacamole. I mean, now if I pawn the white dragon, I have white dragon pure straight. If I draw into the four of characters, I have the dirtiest Richie of all time. Richie pure straight closed, which is worth two Han. And we can win off of the white dragon off of that awfully hot coffee pot. I throw the door here. I throw the door. It's too late for you. You had your chance. You could have treated me better, but now it's over between us. I throw the door and I don't look back. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Any fun plans for this week? I honestly, I might have to, I might have to, uh, I mean, I don't think I'll have to end Wednesday stream early at all. I think that we can go a little bit later, but I might do a, I might, I might do an IRL Pokemon Go meetup just to, just to hang out, try to do some shadow Mewtwo's or whatever. There's some local hot shadow Mewtwo's in my area. It's kind of nice right make some friends on pokemon go have some more have some more people to exchange gifts with exchange pleasantries with what else is going on it's pretty much it it's pretty much it i beth and i bought these smoothie kits from from costco those have been really clutch instead of getting like bags of berries like one big bag of berries and one big bag of mango or whatever I mean, I'd see this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'd see this for the big T. Pure straight white dragon. I don't want anyone else to win this round. I have I fear that Left Lord is in Tempai, right? Red five being discarded. Like everyone's discarding straight up gas. I don't I don't want to I want to win this one. I, I don't want Left Lord to win a giant Mondo hand as the dealer. What do I think that Left Lord has? Oh my goodness. I think that they're waiting for a pair of the white dragons. I think they're going for the blue eyes white dragons as I am. So I can never throw these. Maybe they got it with a side of meatballs as well, right? Maybe they got the old triplets in their hand as well. Quite a formidable foe. Could they have the green dragons? They could, but this is a skill issue. I juke out of the way of the green dragon run. See what I did there, folks? Jesse, I juked out of the way of the green dragon run. That's pretty much it. Does anybody have any fun plans for this week? Anyone doing anything special? Janice Osu, good tidings, good tidings. Welcome. Hope you're having a nice morning, evening, wherever you're, whatever you're doing. I might go to, I might go to my local game store, play some Magic: The Gathering, make some friends that way. I don't know. I'm bacon. Yo, Bob's Gaming. The weed variety or the bread variety? Left, left Lord is the unstoppable force to your immu immovable object. I mean, you're not wrong there. This is a spicy discard. I think if they're waiting on three and white dragon, that would end me. But I don't think I can play defensively right now. Hell divers too. Yo, let's go. What did I tell ya? I, I could smell it. Like a, like a fart that I think is coming from the attic. I could smell it. Might watch some anime trailers. Oh, heck yeah. I think... Wait, 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 wait. This this is the week, right? I think if all goes well, I think I'm going to be on Oishi's stream on Friday. Watching some watching some anime. Or anime, if you're nasty. Some anime some anime trailers. So, hopefully, hopefully you'll, you'll join us for that. I'm going to a fancy wood store tomorrow. Not a euphemism. I mean, at least take a big whiff once you're in there. You know what I mean? Not a euphemism either. I like the smell of like home stores, like a Home Depot. I love the smell of wooden paint. You know what? What can you? Oh, you're saying you're nasty. I guess I am. I guess I am a little nasty, huh? Are you a termite? I could I, I might be. I might be a termite. This is, this is my, uh, you might be a redneck if, just you might be a termite. I mean, this is a weird situation. I feel like cheating into a three of bamboo and going for the half flush isn't even that bad of an idea. Hey, 
What did the sommelier? What was? Oh, yeah. This is a good joke. If you're driving right now, pull the F over. Pull the F over. I got a joke for you, okay? What was the sommelier's favorite hand in Ricci Mahjong? A half lush. Lush is the term um, for someone who is imbibing alcohol. Let me turn on the fan behind me, by the way. Genius. It's getting too hot in here. And I don't necessarily want to take all my clothes off. That's, uh, that's exclusive content. Oh, the greed? The greed of the century? Right, Lord's got a, the, the, the nine of bamboo pawned up right now? Oh, hang on. I did not realize that right Lord had pawned the door. Oh, oh, no. And then all the nines are gone. So what do we have? Six, seven, eight. Four, four, five shape. Oh, this hand is off. Oh, I should not have done that. Oh, this hand is off. I was one tile away from Tenpai. And now I am like two tiles away from Tenpai. This is a horrible decision, folks. All my nines gone. Gotta turn on the fan. The room's too, too full of farts. The room right now is smelling like a spring meadow, okay? There's no farts in the air. A cross lord might be going for some kind of half outside hand or just a seven, eight, nine Sanchooks. I honestly kind of respect that. I can respect that. Do I think they'll win? Nah, dude. Or I, am I really scared? I mean, it's half outside hand, one Dora. It's not bad, but I don't think it's that good either. Could they have a one, two, three, or a one, three waiting to chew up my character too? It's possible. It's definitely possible. Three ones are gone though. I think I'm willing to roll these dice. I used to do a lot of hanging out. Like I think upstate New York, People might not know this, but it's like a lot of fields. I've spent a long, I spent a lot of time in meadows, you know? It's okay. Can play like a game of pick up, you know, touch football or whatever. 789 Sanchoku. Dude, what is with people having the exact same Yaku high pair as me? What is, what is the deal with that? I will say something that I'm sad of now is that when I was living in upstate New York, I had a friend with a pool. And don't get me wrong. I was, I was... Not only happy for that friend, for the for the pool, but for the friendship as well. Now I don't know anyone with a pool. And that's very disappointing. I'm not going to lie to you there. It's very, very disappointing. I will say this. And I'm not trying to be like, uh, I'm not trying to be like, you know, provocative or whatever. I cheated a lot in Marco Polo. There, I said it, okay? I'm gonna run for president one day, and you think you're gonna get me with a smear campaign? But I'm not, uh, you know, you're not gonna get me with a smear campaign. I got you, okay? It's over. I cheated a lot in Marco Polo. Now, why would I do this? Because I wanted to win. Because I wanted to win, okay? I would just look, and no one, no one, no one was the wiser, okay? This is a weirdo hand, but we are in the dealer's seat. I think, I think we gotta do it. Favorite pool game? Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. My favorite pool game is not chicken, where you get on someone else's shoulders, okay? That's like a fun game in, in high school. If you've like, you know, if you're like, if you've got like a crush and then suddenly they're on your shoulders or something or you're on their shoulders, that's very fun, right? Ooh, butterflies, ooh, adolescents. I think chicken is too dangerous, dude. I'm not, I, 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 I don't, I'm not fun, okay? If, if someone falls over, they might really hurt themselves. What if they hit the side of the pool? If I owned a pool, chicken would not be allowed. Oh, you son, you're no fun. Yeah, but guess who's going home safely that night after the pool party? It's everyone that was at my pool. How do I cheat in Marco Polo? You're supposed to have your eyes closed and I would just, I, I would just like pretend to have my eyes closed, but like look a little, you know what I mean? It's not the, it's not like wall hacks, but it is kind of wall hacks, you know? Cheating in Marco Polo just shows your passion and desire to win. I vote for you. Folks, many people are saying this was the greatest Marco Polo player of all time. Chibli, Ripley, Olivia Munn. Other pool games that were exciting. I mean, the only, it's just chicken and Marco Polo, right? There was one, I think that was like fish out of water or something, where some people would try to quietly get out of the water, but I can't really remember the rules to that. 
Something that was very fun to do in a pool, though. Something that was very fun to... Uh, I'm going to deal into Left Lord. Oh, I'm not. I'm, I juke out of the way of that. I reject... I reject the getting Ron. My favorite pool game is when you toss stuff in the deep end and got to dive for them. I was, I was not a very good diver. In fact, I was a bit of a hell diver. Hello, fellow kids. Hello. I know the games. I'm not a very good diver, okay? So I, I, I wasn't really good at picking up rings off of the floor. But what I did enjoy doing is putting my mouth <laughs> against one end of the pool floaty and then blowing water out of the other end of the pool floaty. And don't fucking ruin this for me, okay? Sorry for swearing, but like, don't ruin this for me. Don't, don't be like, oh, you're a bottom then. No! It's just, a, it's just fun to be like, and then the water comes out the other end. What do you want me to say? Huh? Like the noodles? Oh, I can't hear. Oh, I can't hear for sure. Oh, no. I just made someone a gazillion air. Oh, I just made someone a gazillion air. But I had two chances for after a con. Oh, my God. I could kiss you on the mouth right now, Left Lord. This, so this is a one on hand, but the, the mini points are going to be huge. Oh! Red Air 3D, good tidings, good tidings. We take those as the dealer. Holy guacamole. Oh, no. As a bigger kid, you never learn how to dive. Only thing people want to see is a bomb. I mean, I never really knew how to dive either. Like going going in like this, but cannon cannonballs are way easier. And I think they're they're more fun. <laughs> Master class. <laughs> you just sometimes Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> you know? It's like closing your eyes on the freeway. Don't do that. I'm just, you know, take it you know, it's it's a very dangerous thing to do, but it is like closing your eyes on the freeway. Don't do that. We had a we had a S word above ground. I why don't why am I saying S word when I'm swearing like a sailor the whole time? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't really understand the inner workings of my own mind. Why is why does Right Lord have the scariest hand of all time? Why they're, they're going for a flush in the circle suit? Okay, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. And that's not my name. I'll just go ahead and say it. That's not my name. Something else that was weird in pools was that I used to use goggles, but later. I would just open my eyes underwater and it wouldn't even sting that bad. I don't know. Like for the longest time, I was scared of opening my eyes underwater without goggles. And then one day I just kind of did it and it was magical. <laughs> like you get, like you could just do that. Hang on. What am I discarding here? I think I throw away my Vivian Southwinds. I think I go for like Tanya, Ricci, something. I don't know. Oh, this is such a weirdo situation. I, I would always raw dog my eyes under the water. I expected them, like, even as an adult thinking back on it now, I'm like, it should have hurt more, right? Like, chlorine against your eyes? Like, shouldn't that hurt? Like, chlorine's a chemical. Wasn't scared of opening your eyes in Marco Polo? Yeah, because I wanted to win. I am, I am a tenacious gamer. Forge Cat! Thank you for the prime. See, some people are okay with a streamer that cheats a little bit in Marco Polo to gain an unfair competitive advantage. Yeah, I miss I miss being in a pool. One of one of Beth's family members has a pool. We got to we got to visit it once, but they kind of live far away. And and it was it was a lovely it was a lovely day. You know what I mean? I think Beth because she, she is more California pilled than I. Like, really enjoys pools. And so, I'm like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be a good partner and find, like, a nice public pool or something. Or I just gotta, like, I don't know, buy, like, a Costco one or something. I don't know. No goggle enjoyers rejoice. Thank you. Shut age. Good tidings. Thanks for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Welcome. Welcome. Pools are nice. Grills are another thing that I'm like, 
I wish I had access to, but I was talking to a friend at the wedding and they are on the same page of grilling as I am. I don't love the idea of keeping a tank of propane gas around because I'm scared that I'm going to blow everything up. I am genuinely scared of that. I know it's not that scary. I know it's not that scary and it's like totally fine or whatever. But like, have you considered the fact, your honor, that I'm a fucking baby about so many things? I just have anxiety, dude. I just can't do it. I can't keep a tank of propane around, but I do like a good Borgar on the grill. You know what I mean? You can grill on coals? <gasps> what? <gasps> okay. This is new technology. This is dark technology. Coals are a good alternative. You mean I've been a naughty boy and Santa's gonna reward me with coals? Sorry, Zaddy Santa. Have I been bad? Guess you're gonna have to give me coals then. I'm making it weird. What? Oh my god, I just remember the time one of my friends was over and she got her butt too close to one of the filter jets and we ended up having to drain the pool. Bread bowl? Oh my god. Is everyone okay? Holy moly. Oh, is everyone okay? Oh my goodness. Uh, we're still friends. Let's go. Don't have me over. I'll just fart around everywhere, okay? Yeah, I would like to grill on some coals. Don't, don't you get some of the flavor from the coals as well? You know what I mean? Like a grill is a nice thing. Charcoal takes way longer and it's harder to keep consistent heat. Oh, not so then. So I'm not even. Oh, so charcoal isn't even that good. And it's hard to can. And you have to worry about maintaining consistent heat. What about my salt, acid, and fat then? Uh, there's so many freaking variables to grilling. Uh, but these are nice summertime activities. I won't. I won't lie to you there. These are some nice summertime activities. And you know, nobody tell. Uh, no, nobody tell uh, Lana Del Rey because I don't want any of that summertime sadness. I want to enjoy this freaking summer. I'm trying to think of anything nice. I mean, campfires. I think legally, though, I'm not allowed to have campfires. The only campfire I'm allowed to have is in my Pokemon Go app. I think that a campfire would be fun to do, but I think because it could start like a natural disaster, I'm like... I'm literally not allowed by the state to have a campfire. So if you're in an area where you can enjoy one and you got like a little pit or something, somewhere you like to do some ritualized bloodletting, then you got to do it. Then you got to do it. I miss capture the flag. Capture the flag is fun. Capture the flag is very fun. I'm not going to lie to you there. Why would I lie to you about that? Are there campfires in Pogo now? Rosio Gravy, that's a great question. I think that's what the app is called. They have like built-in integration with another app called Campfire where you uh where you can meet up with other gamers in the app. Jason man, stop outing me. I'm sorry. Some members of this community are doing ritualized bloodletting. That's nice. I think I think here's here's my here's my thinking, okay? I think there's some people out there that are just wrong where they prefer a marshmallow, like a s'more, like the marshmallow of a s'more to be like blackened on, on a fire. And it's like super ooey gooey. That is wrong. You want your marshmallow barely bronzed so that it is ooey gooey, so soft and chewy, but not like burnt. Like I understand wanting the goopiness of just a, like a freaking roasted marshmallow but i think the trade-off of having to of all that of all that burning on there not worth it genuinely not worth it a crossword you want to die tonight let's die tonight oh, okay all right I'm, I'm dying tonight this is a dealer richi ipatsu oh lordy oh this is a dealer it's twelve thousand. Oh no oh no i like my marshmallow golden brown let's go you want to melt the inside the arachnid oh you're wrong do you like do you like the omega like just omega nuked marshmallow i don't think anyone's wrong for enjoying this because if you have an omega nuke nuked marshmallow like we're playing fallout or something 
you can then use the salt acid fat heat from that marshmallow to to melt down your hang on that's actually really good four five six seven eight nine six seven eight son chokes oh this ain't is spicy to melt down the chocolate that you have as well okay i understand that i understand that i want it black what oh i don't understand people at all just when i thought i was just when i thought i was being normal uh some people are really into the char hey some people are into even that charmeleon if you know what i mean it's just a pokemon joke pokemon joke konata good tidings the marshmallow is blackened and completely melted the marshmallow is easier to use in a s'more you're right there you're absolutely right there you're absolutely you're absolutely effing correct i will say as a child all that i used in s'mores and i i would say i've had s'mores like four or five times in my life i am a privileged b word okay i've genuinely had a lot of s'mores in my life because upstate new york what else are you gonna do it's the countryside you know you're gonna have campfires you're gonna play night games like werewolf and stuff um are we one tile away from tenpai no we're two tiles away from tenpai hopefully we get there though you know what i mean i mean i throw this away right i mean i don't oh man like 789 son chokes it's still vaguely possible with this hand, but I don't love it. There's the Ricci, and folks, I think we're gonna fold right on out of here. This is a dealer Ricci. Our hand is just A-OK. -okay. Our hand is not good. Have I ever been to Skinny Alice? Oh, absolutely I have been. Some of my some of my closest friends are from the the SK. No, I, I I'm trying to I'm trying to be I'm trying to give it a nickname that it doesn't really have, but I know Skinny Atlas. It's nice. The lake on there is really nice. I believe it is called Lake Skinny Atlas or something um but whenever i was having s'mores i would only ever get to have them oh this is disgusting this is back-to-back -back dealer mongons we just got to get out of here alive folks we are not the protagonist of this one i would only have them with hershey's chocolate which by the i don't i don't i'm about to offend somebody i think hershey's chocolate is good i would i would i would never like if i was having s'mores i would never turn it down but i would like to experience s'mores as an adult where i have a chocolate that is less like factory produced you know just a little bit more of like a darker a more for a more sophisticated palette some kind of like a suave don juan or whatever like i think that'd be a nice experience as a as an adult i think s'mores kind of suck <sighs> bus channels i i would turn off the twitter replies right now this is a this is gonna get you into some hot water have I ever been to Westfield, New York? I've never been to Westfield, New York. Is there a lake there called Lake Westfield? <laughs> okay, Green Dragon Pear is interesting here, right? Green Dragon Pear is interesting. We could pawn. One, two, three, four. Only four shapes in our hand. I don't love the way our hand looks. I'm not uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I want the green dragon, right? I wanna I wanna eclipse right lord for second place because i don't think we're getting first place we would literally need a yakumon to get into first place right now and i don't like like i'm confident but i'm not that confident you know what i mean i talked to i talked about s'mores with some uk europe people and they were confused as to how we could use hershey's for anything i know it's kind of like shameful right like this is this is what we f with here So those are those are I think those I think those are all the summer activities. That and not doing your summer homework. Dude, I will say summer homework is the worst. There was never a t I had no self-control, dude. Summer homework is just so bad. But I remember like w taking AP US history. Why? Cuz I'm kind of goaded academically, okay? I remember I'm not goaded academically. I definitely have my blind spots, but I wanted to take AP US history. Because it's like one of five AP classes that we had. And I wanted to, you know, it looks good on a college app, whatever, whatever. We had to read David McCullough's 19... Oh, not 19. Uh, 1764, which is when the American Revolution happened. We had to read David McCullough's 1784 and write a whole essay about this. Now, in retrospect, it's okay. I think that the teacher just wanted only serious students to do... Uh, AP US history. And like to prove that you're a serious student, like here's the here's the essay, you know? Here, here you go. It's gonna weed out the weak, you know? 
Oh, that was a rough one. That was a rough one for sure. We also had to read the Grapes of Wrath, which, oh my god, dude. Reading the Grapes of Wrath over the summer, it's a slow book, man. It's not like Captain Underpants where there's things happening, dude. It's a slow burn. Friends to lovers, you know what I mean? The last scene, etc., etc. 1776. Yeah, it's 1776. I'm so sorry. Clearly, I don't remember much about AP US history. I said 1784? No, it's 1776. It's about the American Revolution. That's all I really remember. I think I'd see here to try to get into Tempai. I know it's a weird Tempai, but one green dragon has already been thrown. My uh, another one might might come out. The screwed thing up about summer homework is that the teachers are gonna have to grade and review them. I know. Don't you want to kick back with some mimosas over? Like at the start of the school year? I mean, I suppose at that point you're already on the clock. How is my experience with discrete mathematics? Do you know me IRL? Because, because I did take discrete mathematics. And let me tell you, there was nothing discrete about my tears as I took a discrete math course in uh, college. Because I was like a computer science major for a hot sec before I realized I was bad at it and I hated it. And I was just not good at it. Um, like I hated it because I wasn't very good at it. Discrete math, when math starts to get like theoretical, when, when math starts to get like creative or whatever, nah, bro, I am out of there. I am out of there. Holy moly, it was tough. Summer homework, dude. It's not summer love and had me a blast, okay? It's, it's summer pain, Pecco. I was, I was really, really struggling. Just because that, that horrible feeling, too, of, like, the clock's coming down in the wire. We haven't started reading the Grapes of Wrath yet. Oh, it's Jover. I'm taking it now, and it's truly painful. Dude, I sh I, I'm praying for you. I am praying for you. Discrete math is not easy. I, I, it makes me want to scream. And that is not very discreet, okay? Discrete math makes it sound illicit, like doing math in a back alleyway. Yo, you got any of that transitive property on you? Trying to have a good night here, okay? My usual guy's out of town. Yo, you got some of that matrix multiplication on you? My usual guy's out of town, and I got to code up a project in R right now. I'm doing discrete math right now. Why do we have, like, Brainiacs in here? Look, I'm just here to, I'm just here to put a Pokemon Go auto catcher in my pocket and let it vibrate against me the whole night you know what i mean <laughs> nah i i think that and i don't mean to just be like oh stem lords are, are brainiacs i think the stem lord is being a like stem is hard is definitely very hard i also think that like having like genuinely good thoughts in in liberal arts and like genuinely interesting thoughts and and non-pompous writing very effing difficult like truly effing difficult Some of the scientists at my workplace use R. Hey, what was a pirate's favorite programming language? Python, because it's beginner friendly. Oh, you thought I was gonna say R? You think you think you think you think you think you think I'm I'm a lowbrow streamer? Nah, only the best, freshest memes for this crowd. I hate R. <laughs> hey, what was uh? Hey, hey, what was, uh, what, what did the programmer have at, for decorations? Oh, this is a joke. If you're driving, pull over. I'm about to get you into an accident. This is a good joke. What did the, what decoration did the programmer have at their throwback 70s party? Uh, they had a, hang on, um, hang on, hang on. Give me a sec and free my soul. Dude, this hand sucks. I'm really keeping this. That's not the joke, by the way. What decoration did they have at their throwback 70s party? A Java lamp. There we go. Rebellious gate. Good tidings. Good tidings. Tucker DP. What's a pirate? Oh, hey, here we go. Here we go. What's a pirate's favorite movie rating? PG because they want to bring their kids to a child appropriate movie. You hit me with the anti joke. <laughs> Justin voice. Okay. Okay. You're hitting me with the polite Justin voice? Oh, fuck. Oh, no. 
this hand sucks, right? Like, I, I just fold this hand. I'm so sorry. I know you want to see me win. Loney Art, good tidings. Good tidings. Welcome in. You're joining at a weird time. I know you want to see me win. We are not winning this hand. This hand is in shambles. It's in brambles. It is awful. That's not a bad draw. Maybe we can make something happen, like, before we get into exhaustive draw, but... I do not like our situation. I do not like our situation right now. Could she that? No, absolutely not. Throw the three of characters, I think. Three of characters is a fine decision at a time like this. Unless the dreamer is the real you. It's a Jason Mrazian line. Dude, I, can I tell you something a little bit revealing? When I was auditioning for a high school musical, and not high school musical, it was... Uh, it was cats. Oh my god. It's it's where the emoji for a uh, psychological prison. It's that that's a photo from me in in high school from when I did the musical cats. The night before the musical audition, I was practicing with um Jason Mraz's I'm Yours because I didn't really know like how to practice for an audition. Turns out we you know, we all just like learned a song and then we like sang it or whatever. I'm gonna chi here just in case, right? Maybe we get to pawn. No, I don't think we get into tenpai, but I think chi in there gives us the best chance. Oh, wow! Wow, a cross lord going for the glory right there. Holy guacamole. All right, very strong hand. They managed to get into tenpai. Left lord is hanging on. If we reach Isumo, a medium-sized hand. If we reach Isumo, a beef strong enough hand. Left Lord dies tonight, okay? And there, there's the start of it. There's the start of it. We're gaming. If we get a direct hit from Left Lord, they also die tonight. But, but this hand is not beef good enough. Like this hand is only one Han. We need to, we need to get two Han. Oh, wait a second. Repeat sticks. If we win this one from Left Lord. Dora tile? No. No, 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 no. I reject the Dora tile. No one pawn this. No one pawn this. But if we win this hand, it's 1,000 points plus 1,200 points. Uh, oh, we we can win this one. We can absolutely win this one. We're one tile away from Tenpai right now. Would love to see a seven of circles. Oh, we're gaming. We're gaming. Cheeing into this? I mean, we have a 2-3. I mean, that's not that bad. We're still one tile away from Tempai, but we upgrade ourselves into more double-sided weights. I like that. I like that right now. Here we go. 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 Now we can pawn! This is it. Call my pawn one more time! Hamilton voice. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here alive and in second place. Sh just deal in, folks. One of circles. Left Lord, I understand you're going for seat when prevalent wind. You're in a terrible situation. You want to come back and have an epic YouTube video with a nice thumbnail? Not today. Not today. Genius. One of tiles is so safe, Left Lord. Inception, Inception. Dealing, 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 dealing. Thanks for holding them for me. Thanks for keeping them warm for me. Oh, that's nice. A nice warm little toilet seat for all you sung to just sit down on my... Oh, wait. The game's not over. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 wait. Oh, sorry. 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 Got... Sorry. Sorry. I was... Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I was going off about a warm toilet seat. Sorry. It's embarrassing. It's very embarrassing. Genuinely, genuinely embarrassing. Genuinely, genu genuinely weird. But, I mean, it's not its not bad. It's not bad. Now, if we sumo, we should be able to still kill Left Lord, right? It's simple. We kill the Batman. Fourth incoming going on. No. No. I mean, I do deserve it, right? I do deserve it for my hubris. It is not a secret whether or not I deserve divine punishment. You've seen the awful things that I've said during games of Richie Mahjong. Oh, I absolutely deserve it. Do you believe that karma is real? Can I get a one in chat if you believe that karma is real? A two in chat if you believe that karma is not real? I want to believe that karma is real. I want to believe that if you do good things, that it'll come around. Oh my god, it's literally all twos. Pink Moon Neko. Holding it down for the believers, okay? Holding it down for the glass half full. I think that 
Society would be better if we believed in karma. I think that is true. Because then I think people are incentivized to do nice things. Return their grocery carts to the to the main area or whatever, you know? I think that's nice. Hang on, what do I do here? I throw the seven? I throw the Kevins? No, I throw the sevens away. I put your picture away. Could have maybe had like a seven, eight, nine, but don't love that idea in this position. It's a shorthand for frick around and finding out. That's that's very true. That's very true. I think that society shouldn't need incentive to do nice things. They should just ooh woo. <laughs> Dude, that would be very, very funny. If like at the UN, if I could be king of the UN for one day, I would make everyone go like, hello, yes, the delegate from the United States has a thing. Uh, go ahead, begin. And then they would have to be like, ooh, ooh, we'd like to introduce a resolution. Oh, that'd be so good. And then the people that have a response, like, yes, the delicate from uh, Zimbabwe would like to respond. Oh, whoa, I think that's a great idea. Tell me we wouldn't figure out world peace in one effing afternoon. Everyone would be too, too cute, ooh, ooh, and oh, ooh, to one another to be upset about like, you know, trying to get the best possible deal for their home. I throw the Norths here, right? Throw the Norths here? Hello, fellow, fellow delegates. Ooh, whoa, whoa. I think it'd be nice. I mean, do, do I think that uh, everyone would be on board? No, people have got their pride on the line or whatever. Boris Johnson doesn't want to ooh, whoa, whoa. Dude, Boris Johnson would ooh, whoa, whoa. I feel like there's some real uptight people who wouldn't ooh woo oh woe. Like the only person I can think of is, you know, John Bolton for whatever reason right now. I think we were talking about some some guy whose name was John earlier or something. Like he probably wouldn't be down to ooh woo oh woe. That's their loss, by the way. Drawing the door is kind of like the kiss of death right now. It's kind of like the kiss of death. A lot of twos and eights gone makes me think that I can get away with throwing this. We need to draw into another copy of the door, and then this hand goes to the frickin' moon. I'm not gonna... That is also interesting to me, okay? Two of characters gets us into Tempai. It's a single tile horrible weight, but it might be what we deserve right now. Fellow delegates, I'd like to make a motion to a woe. I read this in Bernie Sanders' voice. Whoa, whoa! How come the 1% of woes get the whoa, whoa, woes? <laughs> My fellow Americans, the pharmaceutical companies are wooing on a wooing the coffers for too long. We need an economy that woos for everyone, not just a woos for the 1%. I think that's good. I think that's good. That's online Bernie Sanders. This is a good hand. It's a headless hand. That face when... I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. That face with no head. I said it. I said it. We don't really have a pair in this hand. Oh, and now we do. And we're one tile away from them. By This is disgusting. <laughs> this is disgusting. Half outside hand is weirdly a possibility if we draw into the one of bamboo. I wouldn't she for it. Yeah, I'm not she in for that. Oh, and I... We're reaching in the club tonight, folks. Reachy Pinfu Dora. Two tile. Wait, that was side of white. And we win on a flipping terminal. This is it. We end the game in second place here. I don't think we ever end this game in first, per se. Per se, Jackson and the Lightning Thief. Thanks for keeping them warm for me. Wait, the game's not over. Don't go on about the toilet seat yet. I mean, this is good. It makes it harder for Right Lord to, you know... Get back in, but can we can we just finish this game? I mean, I think it's still right to win as much as possible here. Oh, this is okay. This hand is not is not as good as the last one. I am a woe wo once again, asking a woe for your support award. Five percent of the top one percent. <laughs> it's really funny saying things in a woo voice. Genuinely so effing funny. It's so effing funny. What do I throw here, folks? 
This is a weirdo situation. Dora is the nine of characters. Okay, it's weird. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Although ideally, I like this three, four, four to be one shape. The one shape is real. Could have even thrown my one of bamboo just to keep the four and the seven alive. Can I tell you something though? I hate a warm, warm toilet seat. An awfully hot coffee pot? No, dude. I genuinely do not like a warm toilet seat. It's just like, I know there's no real difference. Like the germs are all still there, but I don't like knowing that someone has recently parked their keister right where I'm parking my keister. It's weirdly intimate. You know what I mean? I only want my butt to like feel the warmth of my partner's butt. <laughs> oh. <sighs> so weird, weird situation with this hand. I think it's right to chi there. I think it's right to chi there. This is, uh, I'm going to throw that away. I'm going to throw that away. Even if it was electronically warmed. Oh, dude. I would, I, I love an artificially warmed toilet seat. I, I, oh, you're going to be like, oh, you sung. 1% you sung. Privilege you sung, okay? And I do have a lot of privilege in my life. I do have a bidet seat that warms up the toilet for me in the morning. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Simple and clean is the way that bidet makes me feel tonight. It's so freaking good. It's so good. It feels like, like in a Freudian sense, like the safety of the womb. You know what I mean? It's weird. I immediately regretted saying that. But it genuinely feels like, ah, yes. You know? Yes! We've done it. We're there. We've made it. Heated bathroom floors. Don't have any heated floors. We used to have like accidental, like one part of the floor was heated when we lived in upstate New York. I think just because like the warm pipes or something were around that area black pink in your area by the way um and that was nice that was nice accidental heated floors very very nice very very fun to take naps on that area as well but now i have now my floors are oh now my floors are cold <laughs> if you know what i mean heated towels are goaded oh that's the next step how do, how do people keep their towels so ooey gooey warm and chewy? You know what I mean? How do people do that? It's like you, it's like a mini fridge, right? Like you, you watch it on Architecture Digest or whatever when you, when like a celebrity does a house tour. I, I think I've seen them before. It's like a mini fridge, but in reverse. It's like a mini sauna that keeps your towels warm, right? Little wet ovens in your bathroom. <laughs> Little Wet Ovens is the name of my bluegrass group. Oh, that is good. Oh, that is good. I might deal in. I might Dave Matthews band crash into you with this. I mean, we might even want to not be in Tempai for the end of this game. Because if this round just ends, which I would be happy if it did. I would be happy if this round just ended. And we were not in Tempai. We, um... Okay, the next discard we do, I think we want to try to get out of Tempai so that this game does not go on any longer. Oh, you sung. What about going into first place? Nah, dude. I think we got to make a strategic exit here and get out of this game while the getting is good. Please don't fail me now. Let's go. Some towel racks are heated too. What the hell? What the hell? You can get a heated towel rack for 200 what the frick? So luxury is more attainable than it seems. But $200 is a pretty steep price. Okay. We, I think that getting out of Tempai here is actually the right move. Genuinely the right move. We're never gonna we're never gonna defeat Cobb, okay? Like the, the main protagonist in Inception. And that's thanks for keeping the toilet seat warm for me. Left Lord has to go for, you know, a Yakuman or something. Can respect it. They gotta th they gotta hope and pray that I stay in Tempai. Not gonna happen. Right, Lord Rage quit. I think they could tell the writing was on the walls. I think they could tell the writing was on the walls. Dude, back-to-back -back second places are not bad. 
That's not bad right now.